In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a video that I've had requested for a long time. This is going to be a Saints mini scheme that is going to be absolutely insane um, and very, very effective. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am or what I do, my name's Cody. And what we do on YouTube is we try to get better at Madden 21, right? We're trying to get better at this game. We're trying to learn. We're trying to teach you guys as well things that I'm learning, things that I've learned from other players, things that I've learned from practice mode, and things that I've learned from my losses. So if you want to get better at this game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Here's what I can tell you right now. I can tell you that we are going to work our hardest to provide you with the best tips in the community. And sometimes we do a great job of that. Sometimes we uh, lag a little bit behind, but we're doing our best. And so if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. Now I've gotten, I can't tell you how many times I have gotten Question after question after question, whether it be through my text messages or through um, the Discord or through the yacht comments, that people want a Saints scheme. And so um, I actually was in the pra in practice mode and I was running up against the issue of a specific route, got into the lab a little bit, and I found some really good stuff out of the Saints playbook. And, and, and we're going to jump right into that. Now, again, if you have any questions about the scheme today, um, shoot me a text message. And what we'll probably do is release an entire Saints mini scheme into our text message membership. Every week we release a new scheme into that. Um, and so I'll look at doing that maybe a little bit down the road. But anyways, I want to talk a little bit about... Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about the tight offset tight end uh, formation. And this formation is super, super good, super underrated, I think, um, as well. But the play that we're going to talk about today is we are going to talk about the play um, Mesh Spot. And Mesh Spot is kind of their version of Bunch uh, of bunch Z spot. And so what you'll see here, and but I think it might be just a little bit better from tight. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put our zone drops here. And on the defensive side of the ball, we are just going to run some Mabel coverage to start out with and just kind of talk a little bit about that. So um, all we're going to do as far as the setup for this is concerned is we're going to put Valdez Scantling on an out route. We're going to smart route Adams. And then we're going to take the tight end, motion him over, and put him on a um, a streak. And then we can do whatever we want with these two receivers on the right. I actually really like to put Table and Austin on a flat route and essentially have a flat wheel combination there. Or you could even do a hitch flat combination. You know, there's so many things that you could do here with this this combination. I mean, there's all, all kinds of things. But I like I like something like this. Okay, just some kind of check down on the back right. Okay. And all we're going to do here is what you'll see is Devontae Adams should get wide open against every zone drop in the game. Just pass lead that up, and as you can see, you're going to be able to get that open. That's against uh, that's against a 25-yard uh, flat zone. Now, um, if people know what they're doing, you know, more than likely what they'll do is they'll shade coverage outside, shade coverage up, um, or shade coverage down, shade coverage up, so they get the flats from the slot corner. That does help a little bit. So let me show you that. If the flat comes from the slot corner, it does make a little bit of a difference in terms of how this is going to get open. Um, obviously, if you take a look here, you'll see here, again, pass lead that up, click on, and you can make that catch. Um, typically, you can even get it up more than that, but that's another thing that you can do. Now, let's say that they play Tampa 2 with the same type of zone drops, right? So they're going to be um, essentially doing... Um, let's see here. Oh, I got the same line. Okay, perfect. So essentially what they're doing is they're going to have some type of cover two Mabel. Uh, I think cover two Mabel is severely underrated. I don't think people realize how good that Mabel is. But anyway, cover two Mabel. Uh, what I like to do is if, if you know they're doing something like that and they're not using any like man coverage, um, this setup right here is absolutely ridiculously good. Just leaving him on a stock route. It's one of the deepest corner routes in the entire game. And if you have a route tech running it, he gets a really sharp cut on it that is very, very effective. This cut on this route is actually a sharper cutting route than the bunch Z spot. I don't think I have Z spot in my audibles, but I, you know, you could, you could basically do that as well. Now, as far as how this works against, um, as far as how this works against man to man, um, as as far as how this works against man to man here, let me show you here real quick. So again, Tunyon's going over here, and this is just you know just standard man coverage. This is why you want a route tech on this, but it's very difficult to press out of tight. Um, and you'll see you'll get that animation a lot. And because it's in a compression set, the biggest thing is um, 
the, the, the biggest thing is with this, again, running this to the wide side of the field. So you always want your slot receivers to be ran in the wide side of the field. So let's say the ball was on the right hash. Okay, I just want to talk through that just for a second here. Let's say the ball is on the right hash mark. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to flip the play. If you notice, they don't flip. Okay, that's the one thing about this. It's actually, I mean, it can be good and it can also be bad, but that's that's the one thing about this that you know, you know, again, it's it's kind of it is what it is. But that's just something that you need to know. Um, the only person that flips is the running back. So the the one thing the defense can know about that is they can say, okay, well, I know that as a general rule, you're going to run that corner to that side. Now, let's say they run, you know, if they run the play uh, bench, and we flip it. Right again, the running back's the only one, only player that moves. Right, so it's not like there's a lot of movement going on. Then I could smart route Devonte Adams, and now that's a little bit more similar to the Z spot read uh, from Gun Bunch. And now let me just show you a little. Let me show you just kind of traditional uh, cover three Mabel. The flipping of the play does a really good job as well for like auto flip and things like that. But again, now you're running a three. You're running a basically a quads look. So you could do really whatever you wanted with the running back here, um, and, and obviously Tavon Austin. Again, you can do anything you want with those two receive those two players. But if you take a look now, it's a different style of corner route, and that one didn't get quite as open. But the point is, you have different corner routes for different situations. So you have that corner route, you have the PA shot seams corner route. These are all um, different corner routes for different situations. You can motion Tavon Austin as well. Like, let's say you wanted to do something like this, right? You could do this. Um, and, and this corner route from the, this this corner route right here in particular is much better than the, the other one if they're running a lot of zone, specifically if they're running a lot of Tampa 2. Tampa 2 can't stop this route. See how it curves to the outside? That's really, really good for the Tampa 2 style of defense. So my point is, depending on what coverage they're running, you'll run a different corner route. You might run this mesh spot, and then what you might do is you might run uh, PA shot seams, and then you might run bench, um, and then you might flip the bench and run it this way. Those are four different corner routes from the same player. To me, that's insane. It's actually incredible the way that it works. Um, another thing that people probably don't know about is, like, let's say they're playing cover three. If you streak the running back, he kind of serves as that middle pull route, and he can kind of pull that corner um, that that corner to the outside as well. So anyway, that's a little bit about the Saints playbook. There's more to come on this. If you want to be um, in our text message membership, that's completely free for you. There'll probably be a scheme coming out of this offense shortly. Um, we're going to do some other things as well as defensively, kind of showing a little bit about how to counter some of this stuff. But the point is. This scheme, I think, actually is a lot more viable than people realize. Um, I know I have a lot of people that really like the Saints playbook, so we're going to be doing a little bit more of content out of that. Um, but, again, really quickly, if you want to get my full um, bunch tight end ebook, which I believe is the best offense in the game, that link is in the description. If you want to join the text membership so that you can get this scheme whenever it comes out completely for free, just text me. My number is 812-216-3644. We already have a ton of videos in the text message membership playlist that are only for people who have texted in. So make sure to text in so you can take advantage of those free resources and free schemes Thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. And we will see you tonight on stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.